<laughs> oh my gosh. Is this a trail? This is a trail, isn't it? It might be a what? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shoot. <laughs> oh, oh. oh yeah, there's a pond. I see it. Dude. That wife was in a hot tub, I think. Oh, watch it. Yeah, watch that, it's muddy. Oh, dude, footprints. Someone's been out here. Dude, there's a footprint right here. Looks like Bigfoot. But also, look, the deer prints. Oh, yeah, deer prints too. Yeah, yeah. Come out here to drink. All right. All right, guys. This could be juicy. This could be very juicy. This is the start of the One Rod, One Reel Challenge Series number two. My first one ever. I managed to squeak by the victory, going to West Virginia, fishing somewhere I've never been. Now, my boy Parker has challenged me, and we have decided to hit a golf course pond for this challenge. Now, let's go ahead and go through the rules. As you know, it's one rod, one reel, and my one rod, one reel of choice is gonna be a Guggen Gold Series Reaction Rod right here with a Guggen Gold Series reel, 20 pound braid, 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. What is your one rod of choice, bro? We got a Corrado, DC Corrado, 150. You said DC? Nice, man, all right, I uh -huh. like that. On a Abu Garcia, medium heavy. I'm also using 15 pound fluorocarbon, no braid. Fair enough, all right. Location, we are at a golf course in Westerville, Ohio. In Westerville, correct? Ohio. Okay. Westerville, Ohio. And for species, we're doing bass only. Bass. Now, how do you want to score this, bro? Do you want to just do straight up biggest fish wins, biggest bass by weight wins? Biggest, let's do biggest three. Biggest three, okay, biggest I like that. Three. That's actually the same format that I picked in the first challenge. Okay. All right, well, so we're keeping it consistent. Uh, biggest three bass and time limit, what do you say, four hours? Sounds good to me. All right, let's get started and uh, let the best angler win. Good luck. I'm gonna go with a bladed jig with the new Guggen Happy Trailer, actually. I think that could do some damage. There we go. Oh my gosh, I'm not even rigged up yet. Oh, oh you lost. <laughs> it was small. It was small, yeah. but hey, dude, I mean, you're fishing, you're literally fishing, are you fishing a Senko? Yep. You cannot go a watermelon red flake. Red Beautiful. flake. Red flake. Yeah, uh, you're gonna be a tough customer to beat today. I'm gonna catch them. <laughs> you're gonna catch them. Now the question is, who is gonna catch the biggest three? Oh man, this could be tricky. I need to get in here. I need to stop messing around here, guys. Yeah, that was probably only a pound, if that. There is a big. Dude, six cast. You kidding me? Another oh, small no, one. Small. It looks like we got some got some quantity in here. We'll get him on the scale though. That looks like it'll be just under a pound if I had to guess, but let's make it official. Cause you never know what's gonna happen out here. Official weight, 0. 0.7. Oh, oh, yep, 0. 0.7. <laughs> hey, it's a start. Hey, it's just, I mean, that's, you got it in the lead, man. Good job, good job. Well played, my friend. Thank First you, one, I mean, I'm assuming you haven't fished here recently, have you? I've never fished here. Oh, you've, you've never fished here. <laughs> So this is a tournament type situation. A good thing to do is get a limit and then try to upgrade from there. Right. Get those three fish in the boat and just upgrade. Well, it's nice to see that. Absolutely. I mean, you've gotten a lot, did a lot. So I'm, the thing that's worrying me here though is that this might be a stunted pond. It might've become stunted because if you get this many bites, they might be mostly smaller fish here, but you, but you never know. There could be a freaking giant. And I'm actually gonna go, I'm actually feeling a frog at the mo moment. So we're gonna, try this out. I'm actually not going to untie my leader either. So this could end up hurting me in the butt. But let's see what happens here. Okay. All right. Finally, let's make my first cast. Drag is locked down. I'm going right in that pocket. I would not be surprised if I get bit right here, bro. Check this out. First cast with the filthy frog in the muck. That's what the fish like. Yeah. Big one would be good. Yeah. It's a nice little pond though. Yeah, the because like you said, it's a dumbbell. I'm assuming it bells out from right over there in that other yeah. opposite corner. Yeah, there we go. You're kidding me. Is this big? No. Okay, you are freaking crushed. Bigger. Oh yeah, dude, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh my gosh, I am in freaking trouble, guys. Parker's got two fish. We are literally in the first 10 minutes of fishing. Dude, you're on fire, my guy. 
Where are you where are you fishing exactly? Are you just throwing it along the edges or what? Yeah, I'm fishing that that little point right there. Yep, got mm -hmm. it. 1.6. Okay. So you're now at 2.3 pounds for two fish. Not too bad. Well done, well done. Nicely done, dude. Awesome. Man, hard to beat a Senko in a pond. Nope. I'm about to bust out the lunker log, guys. We'll see. I mean, I, I gotta at least throw this frog for a little bit. This is a golf course pond. You never know. Could catch a giant and beat, get a three pounder with one fish. I would feel good. Oh, dude, that's a bass over there. Bro, big bass over here, big bass over here. Just pop top water. Oh, can I reach it? I think I can reach it. Oh, yes. Right over there. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. Oh, shoot. Bro. Bro, I, he hit me two feet. I don't know if I can land this fish. <laughs> yeah, I flew it. He flung it out of the water and he just got himself unhooked. I'm going to have to reach. Oh, Holy bejeezo. Let's see if I can. Come here, buddy. Jeez Louise, dude. Ah. Oh. oh, stop that. Ah, oh, there we go. Got him. That might be the craziest frog bite I've ever had. That's well, a... I saw it midair. <laughs> you... those bushes. I didn't know if it was still on your line or not, though. It was not on for long. Oh, 1.25. It says 1.28, we'll just round down to 1.25, make it easy to remember. What did you do, eat some steak files in that bush? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, might have, that actually might have helped the weight a little bit, honestly. See you, little guy, appreciate that. All right, just need one more that size and I'll take the lead from you, bro. Something blew up over here. Oh my gosh, bro. How did I miss that fish? He came straight up out of the water for that. Oh, what are the odds he comes back? Probably not high. Cannot believe I missed that hook set. That's a good sign though. They're really hitting anything. <laughs> They're really hitting it. The question is how do we get the big ones to hit? He got it. I freaking suck. I didn't know I'd be frogging. I chose a freaking reaction rod for my one rod. Did you see that bro? He came up again. All right guys, we need to get to the right side of the pond. We'll have all this bank to cover. There's one small issue. It's actually a big issue though. There is a creek that is running straight down as far as we can see. And it's not a creek I can jump. I mean, that's about eight feet. I'm not a long, I'm not a long jumper, whatever you call it. So I'm not doing it today. I'm too old for that crap. But we're gonna find a way around here. So, uh, is the creek running through here, bro? Or did you look through here? I didn't get all the way back here. All right, let's, let's, it probably does. But maybe, maybe if we're real lucky, there's a real thin spot. Let's just take a peek. Oh, too shallow. Oh, dang! Yeah, yeah. I might bust a four pounder in the tunnel. You never know. There's a million fish back there. But yeah, for sure, we'll check our pulse right <sighs> After you, oh, careful bro, slippery, slippery. <sighs> you. See, this is a creek. You can keep going if you want, I'm gonna make a cast here. You never know what gets stuck back here in these little pockets. Anyone back here? Anyone home? Nope, no dice. All right, we gotta catch up to Parker. I can't let him get first track, he's already beaten me. I've made some crucial mistakes. I'm behind by a pound. We can catch up though. Oh, snap, bro. I was trying to get it over here so you didn't get the fish. Dang it, dude. Oh, that's a good fish. Yeah, yeah. hey, we'll take it. Oh yeah. Yep. Well, Parker's got his limit. I'm in trouble, guys. First up, let's try to make this jump. Alley oop. Ah. Beautiful. That might be close to two, my guy. So you see, you hooked it a little bit, a little bit in the gut. So we're gonna take the pliers. This is perfect. Anytime you gut hook a fish, we're gonna gently put it in. We're gonna grab the shake of the hook and just gently rotate it out until it's up. 
boop, just like that. And that is how you unhook a gut hook fish. Zero injuries, no Boom. problem. Healthy. Yep, you rip that hook out, you know it's gonna die. Yeah. So you don't, you wanna try to avoid that, obviously. Yeah, oh, oh, yep. Nope. 1.96, we'll take it close. Yeah. You know, we'll round up the two for you, bro. Keep it easy. <laughs> so you, you can take your fish. Awesome. Boom. You're Boom. at 4.3 pounds. And it's gonna get higher. <laughs> I like I that confidence. That point, I got that point seven still counting on Oh, me. good job, my guy. There you go, there you go. Parker now has a solid three pound lead over me. I'm at one fish still. I need to do some work, guys. <laughs> we gotta, we got some fish to catch. <laughs> Fudge me, dude. Oh my gosh. So that wasn't even my fault. I just completely missed it. There's one. There's number two for me. Oh, yes. Oh, we can't lose this fish, guys. We're just going to skier and just going to skier and. Oh, my gosh. Dude, I didn't even, not even hook her in the mouth. That looks, that looks about two. That, it's a little less than two. Guys, I have literally caught two fish out of seven on the frog. My goodness. Look. Oh, I got to show you guys this fish. This fish is actually kind of interesting. First up, this fish is quite dark. I don't think I see any signs of spawning activity, but you look in the mouth, look how red the lips and crush plate are. Very interesting considering the water is not that cold. Let's go ahead and get her on the scale here. I'm gonna guess probably about 1.75 is my guess. Yep, 1.68. All right, we'll just round it up to 1.7. Uh, yeah, one point, uh, we'll just round it down to 1.65. So 1.25 plus 1.65, that puts me at 2.9 for two fish. Parker is at 4.3 for three fish. So if I can get a pound and a halfer, I can take the lead from him. And if you guys look, I'm gonna let this fish go over here. Just go right here. I'm gonna try trimming the skirt. I think maybe the skirt's too long. This is a good tactic if you're getting short strikes. I think they're trying to eat. Uh, oh, actually, maybe you might be right though, but I didn't see any spawning uh, signs on that particular fish. Now the frog is actually going to dart a little better, have a little more erratic action, and hopefully this solves my short, short striking problem that I'm currently having. <sighs> Let's get back in there. There's more fish out there. They are feeding heavy in the grass. Another one just had to trim the skirt just had to trim the skirt guys oh it's gonna be close and yeah I, I think Parker's still gonna have the lead it's gonna be close though it's number three we got back in there oh, we're on a pattern hook this one in the mouth finally finally a solid hookup okay there we go okay okay we're at 2.9 he's at 4.3 we need 1.4 bigger 1.4 bigger to take the lead here come on Come on, 1.1.3. I am at 420, 420, you're at 430, baby. All right, this is a close contest, my friends. This is a very close contest. We just let her go. Oh, there we go. Good release. We're getting right back in there. It's tournament time, baby. We don't have a ton of time left in this challenge. It took us a good bit to find our way around the pond and get to this side. It's a, a bit of a journey, shall we say, but uh, we're on a pattern. The fish are feeding in the grass and I'm actually casting to the middle. The grass is a little deeper there. I don't know exactly what they're feeding on, but they're more than willing to hit my frog. If I keep doing this, I'm... Oh, dude, Parker's on. Oh, no. I mean... Is it really? Oh, dude, you got a lot of salad on that fish. Oh, no, no, that's over a pound. No, we'll weigh that for you, bro. Official weight, yep, 1.16, we'll just say 1.15. Yep. So that's gonna be a 0.45 upgrade for you. So you're now upgrade. at, you're at 
4.75. 4.75 and 420. Yep, and I to 420, that's right. All right, let's get a bigger one. Good job, bro. You still fishing the same thing? You yeah, still going still with the uh, the weightless Senko. five inch Senko? All right, I like the color. You got that little chartreuse yeah. tip on it. Good right now. Yeah, and we're actually, the, the juice is the choke market. point, yeah. and the choke point is the end of, the, of our fishable region, too. Yeah. So we're getting onto the juice. It's going to come down to the final line. I, I think you're right about that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I, was that top water? Yeah, I was pulling it in. Yeah, I saw that. What do you think? Is that bigger than... Oh, that, that's actually a little smaller than I thought. No, that, I don't think that's going to help you. No. Oh, I got one though. I was looking at you, bro. It's not going to help me either. Double up. Double up. No help. No bueno. Well, I didn't see my strike, but you guys watching probably saw it. Oh, another fish on the frog. We're getting the numbers. The question is, what do we have to do to find the big one? You know it's in here have great action but you literally if you catch like sometimes you catch one oh that's a good one bro i saw that fish come up i saw that fish come up oh get the boom yes bro oh he's come off oh no i gotta win oh no <laughs> yes sir dude oh no he's skinny bro this one this one is not eating uh this is gonna be cutting it close bro we have to see who's in the lead after this fish my smallest is 1.25, is that correct? That sounds accurate. Yeah. Ah, oh, 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 go, go! Oh, <laughs> oh, my oh God. man, I should have kicked it. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been, I would have said well played. <laughs> All right, let's uh, reset the skin. Oh, here we go, here we go. Chill, bro. Chill, bud. Oh, yes. Dude, she's long and skinny, but she's two. Two on, on the, the dot. dot. That puts me in the lead. Yeah, I am right. in the lead. <laughs> He's officially in the lead. Finally, I get to a taste. <sighs> To be in first place. <laughs> go. Gotta come back. Let's see you, buddy. Boop. Good nice fish. Release. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Ooh. So, do you have any strategies? Come, we're coming up to the juice now with a big fish. Are you? Are you gonna do anything different? No, I'm just gonna stay ahead of you. I think. Oh, I'll that's, try to that's, get the bites. That's a good you. strategy. That is a perfectly uh, fair strategy. And if uh, you keep getting these blow ups on the frogs, I might have to switch over myself. That's pretty fair too. Good luck with that. I am actually gonna change my strategy. As we get, I'm gonna fish the, look, there's standing grass, floating grass right there, but when we get to the choke point, I'm gonna put on a very special bait that I think will catch a monster. We'll see. So you saw it following it in? Oh, come on, B1.5. Oh no, B1.5. Oh, that's got to be close. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, Parker has another fish. He's probably taking the lead again. Yeah, literally. Wait. Oh, oh I am ahead. 0 0.03. 0 0.03. Oh. That's literally like, oh. the, that's the weight of a mechanical pencil, essentially. Oh, I need to shove my <laughs> in that mouth. <laughs> oh, here you go, bro. Oh, wait, we got closer, but not quite there. Yeah, we have a contest on our hands, my guy. We do. And we have some good spots coming in. Yeah, yeah. No time to waste, guys. We, we need, I'm not feeling very comfortable right now. I need a bigger fish. All right. I hate to do this, guys. I'm going for the big fish. I'm taking this bait off. I'm actually going to try one particular bait for just, just a few minutes. Right here. Half an ounce black buzz bait. Here we go. Oh, that scares me. That action already scares me. Right in those ripples. Oh, yeah. And we know they're we know they're willing to chase. Yep. And I actually see over here. Yeah, you better make those casts, bro. I'm about to cover all this water. <laughs> yeah, I know. The water is more stained over here. Dude, this is. I'm pretty confident I'm gonna get a nice blow up in the next couple minutes. Pattern, it just feels right. in front of me oh oh my gosh bro bro 
in front of me, right at my freaking feet. That's gonna help the cause. That's gonna help the cause. Just, no, it's not crazy, bro. It's not a game ender, but it will help the cause. Oh, perfect hook set. Dude, one in the Hummer. Top water at 2 p.m., guys. We will take this fish. That's gonna be a little over a pound and a half. What happened, Park? I thought you were gonna get ahead of me. I ended up fishing the juice before you, bro. Mistakes were made. It's <laughs> a good fish. Yeah, we'll take it. It literally hit two feet in front of me. Two one? Two feet in front of me. Isn't no, the uh, weight is 1.8. 1.8? 1 1.8, 1 .8, yep. Mm-hmm, there you guys go. They hit you right next to that bush? Yes, yep, right in the shade. Right where it's supposed to be, too. All right, let's go ahead and let this fish go. Boop. All right. Anything around two pounds, you're taking a lead. You're not, yeah, this is a very close contest. Well, the end of this pond is right over there. So we have this area to fish. It's all coming down to the wire. Who will win? Parker fishing the Senko expertly or me sticking with top water. I'm going to stick with the top water pattern. I'm feeling confident that top water will take the dub. Oh, no. Big enough. Huh? Big enough. Oh my God. Uh, uh. Come on. No. Oh, boys, boys, boys. That's not how you fish. Yeah, we're getting a lot of short strikes today. Parker losing another key fish I've got less than a half pound lead on Parker it's gonna come down to the next fish we have less than 20 minutes left whoever gets one more good fish is gonna take them to dub let's put on the grind pants guys live or die by the frog let's get back in there catch a big one I hit a stingy. Oh no! Nope. Oh, small one. Thank goodness. Woo! You had me nervous there, bro. I saw that hook set. Crappie. That's a big crappie. Holy crap, dude. First one. crappie of the day. That's a big one. Yeah, that's a long body. Mm. You want to eat that? <laughs> I hit a stingy nettle on the way back. My leg's burning right now. What? Oh, really? Yeah. This would have been small bass, decent sized crappie. Yep. Bro, we're down to the last couple minutes. Now That's or never not for what you. We want. Stay away, Crossy. You need 1.75 or bigger. Man, I need to catch a three pounder. Cement my lead here, guys. Oh, look at that! That bastard tried to eat my bait. Oh, <coughs> oh no! I thought you get cast to it, bro. Okay, I'm going back. <laughs> like, what do I do there? There's literally nothing I can do there. He he took it again. That's Dude, he look, he look, he just nips it. He doesn't even try to eat it. You see that? Sh it's crazy, bro. Uh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, it's huge. No, Parker, don't lose him. Oh my gosh. Oh, bro, that's gonna be it. That's gonna, if you land it. Oh, that's it. That's it. Oh no, that was the last minute. The last minute. No. no. Oh, oh, bro. Oh, you got him hooked good, bro. You got him hooked good. No! <laughs> Look at this. Oh yeah, spotting heavy, bro. Is that? Did you catch it by that branch? Yep. That was the one we missed earlier today. That was the one we missed, dude. That is clutch, my friend. That is freaking. That's the biggest of the day. Probably yeah. That's last? No joke. No joke. No exaggeration. We literally said last minute. Then we're calling it last minute. Parker has taken. Like, we got to make it official, yeah, though. We got Let's make it official. You're hoping I drop it in. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. What's your guess? Oh, dude, that's too... I mean, it's a little skinny, but yeah. it's going to be just under two and a half. I was about to weigh in kilograms and prank you. <laughs> All right. Got her. All right, let's go ahead and get a weight on her. 
Official weight. Yeah, oh my god. Oh, I was way off. Oh, dude, she is longer. Oh, 3.20. 3.2. That'll take the lead. You cry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is the biggest. But I cannot believe you caught that fish in the last minute of fishing. I saw it. Thank it. Thank you so much, fish. A little beat up, but you got the job done. That yep. dog will hunt. Woo! Good job, bro. Thank you. So thank were you, you literally casting at that branch that you snagged earlier? Pulled up earlier. And I, I lost a big fish there twice. I'm assuming that could have been the big fish I lost. It easily could have, yeah. I mean, we pulled up that branch when we first got here and kept throwing at it, and finally we got it to come in. So. Dude, that was a he nail neck and neck the whole time. Heck of a challenge. fun. You fished a single the whole time. The I whole essentially time. fished a frog the whole time. Well played challenge. Very fun, very fun. Golf course pond, middle of the day. We fished from about 12 to 4. It was nonstop action. Lots of heartbreaks, a lot of caught fish. Parker takes the dub. I am now one and one in the one rod, one reel challenge series. If you guys want to challenge me, DM me on Instagram or comment down below. I'll put the format right here. You pick three of the categories, leave one blank. And of course, number one is one rod, one reel that you must fish with the entire time. Also, you must be within 400, let's do 420 miles of Columbia, Maryland. So if you have a lake or whatever, look it up on Google Maps, see if it's 420 miles within Columbia, Maryland. If so, you are eligible to challenge me. I will drive to you and we will have ourselves a little competition. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next 1R1R challenge. Peace.